guys, welcome down to Harford again. This is where we've been uh, testing some clubs out over this uh, nice, nice day. Um, oh, right, before I forget, if you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Join me on my journey uh, around different things, golf clubs, testing clubs, driving my bike, whatever we want to do. So, next clubs we've done is the Ping G410. See that? Oh, upside down. There we go. Swing out with the old saying, if you can't swing, buy a ping. Right, on this G410, I've got a little funky little hole there. Don't know what it's for, but it was okay. Um, height was okay, distance about the same as my normal 7 iron. Uh, but consistency was good. Um, this has a dynamic gold shaft on it, 105 R300, whatever that means, I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure, it's got like a, a bolt on it, you can see out there, uh, what that does. Unless that's just for screwing the, the head on, could be. So you have different shafts. I'm sure somebody will tell me if you comment below. As you can see, um, I'm not too sure whether the camera's showing it or not. Um, consistency was good, height was good, and it felt nice. Um, of all the ones that I've tested, this is probably the second best so far, um, and what I would consider buying the G410, that's for sure. Um, quite a nice heavy head. It feels, feels just right in your hands actually, so it's quite nice. I quite enjoyed the, uh, that one. That was the Ping G410. Would I would buy it? Yes. Would you, should you buy it? Give it a go. Got nothing to lose. Last one we've done is the Callaway Epic. Oh, right way up, right way around. Um, shaft that's on this one is a steel fibre. Quite a thin. Oh, I don't know really. Um, it's got this little black thing that you can see there on the camera. This is sort of black with Epic on it, so it can stand out a bit. And again, it's got a little funky hole there. Again, um, this was okay, height was okay. Didn't feel right for me, I don't know why. Um, just just didn't feel right in my hands, but never mind. Uh, probably had to use, I forgot, I forgot played with it a few times, probably improve with it, enjoy it. But it's not the first club I will go to out of, um, out of them. And I don't know which one, it's got a UP2 on it as well. Unless you see out there, what you can remember. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm sure so you can Google it and find out what UP2 means. So out of the Callaway Epic and the Ping, I would probably go with the Ping. Uh, out of both, probably because the distance and the height was more consistent with this than it was with this one. Uh, but that's why you should go down to your local club and test your clubs out, what you want to look at. Even if you go to American Golf, um, 
test them at clubs out, use the driving base, test them out, what feels right for you. Um, I'm sure if you come somewhere like here, at Hartford, they'll probably let you take a demo club out with you and see what it's like on the course. I'm not saying they will, but if you don't ask, you don't, you don't know. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos, uh, different reviews of clubs here. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you don't want to, you don't want to. But hopefully, I'll help you out if you're looking for some new set of clubs to buy. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.